Hello and welcome. This is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more Hearts of Iron 4, continuing on with Operation Enduring France, and we're attempting to survive as France during World War II. Let's go ahead and do a quick recap of what's going on in the world. So over here in Africa, the Italians and Germans continue to hold on to a pretty large chunk of territory, mostly from the British, although I think they have captured some of my uh, holdings, possibly. Um, but we do have reinforcements with some uh, volunteer divisions from the uh, United States that are helping in some uh, regards. Going over to the east here, uh, the Siamese Empire has joined in the war, and they are taking Indochina from me, but the, the British Raj over here is fighting back as well, and it looks like they have managed to gain some ground. Over with Japan and China, the Chinese continue to more or less uh, win the war against the Japanese, although the Japanese do have some holdings here in China. And it does look like those holdings are, have remained pretty much stagnant with only some slight shifting here and there. So for the most part, not a whole lot of action over here with Japan. The main uh, thing going on in the east here is the Siamese Empire getting involved, and they are going to be uh, threatening down here uh, in Singapore. And they are eventually, of course, going to take into China for me. And there's not a whole lot I could do about that. I only had a single division held back here, which I have uh, since transported away because I knew I wouldn't be able to hold out against all these divisions. All right, with that recap uh, for the rest of the world, let's go ahead and go over into Europe. So I do have some major offensives going on. First off, I have an offensive here in Köln, where I'm trying to surround. As a matter of fact, I'd like to send a couple tank units into there that are currently not doing anything. And we have some defenses going on as well. And then I'm also having a major offensive here. And hopefully I can capture some factories. Now I hope this doesn't flip to the Swiss. It might. And in that case I won't gain the factories. Am I attacking here? Or is that a defense? It might be a defense. It might be a good time uh, once... Uh, no, I think I am attacking. Am I attacking or not? It's hard to... No, that, that marks defense. Okay. It might be a good idea to attack in here eventually, uh, if I get the chance. Uh, technically, I could do that. Is this counted as uh, hills? Okay. So, these guys do better in hills. Let's go ahead and do their movement as well. Then we'll just have three infantry divisions. And then those three infantry divisions, we could bring in here if we wanted to. And then it would be six on four. Of course, I do have to worry about these guys over here. We'll just hold on uh, here in Italy for now and wait out this uh, offense. And I am being attacked in a couple areas, but I'm not too worried about it. We're winning the fight. All right. And another thing, a uh, couple things that I noticed uh, in between videos, this air wing has been completely wiped out. So I'm just going to go ahead and cancel it uh, for now. So that means we're not going to be able to get air superiority over the Alpine region uh, for the meantime, because it looks like the enemy are concentrating their air force there. I also want to bring an air wing into uh, Western Germany here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to establish maybe a fighter wing here. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any fighters. so I'm going to have to wait for that. I could also establish a close air support wing, but I want to wait until I have more close air support uh, planes before I do that. Another thing I noticed is I, uh, unfortunately, I missed a check, it looks like. When I was looking through things, in 1940, I m missed the improved computing machine here, which does reduce research time. So I need to get on that as soon as I, I possibly can. So the next tech that I research here, which will come out in 48 days, I need to work on that because that will be very helpful. All right, let's go ahead and start time here. And hopefully we can progress this attack. This is a very important attack for me because it will allow me to reroute a lot of my forces here. I think we have all of these guys going in there, so that's that's going to be a good attack. As far as defense goes, now this is an attack by the Belgians that are probably not going to go anywhere. Um, this defense continues to hold out. All right, so these fights stopped, and we did get some messages going on here. So we have no template for medium tanks. I think I want to address that. If I go over to logistics... Um, I almost have 50 tanks. Um, so what I'm going to do to uh, reduce some of the demand of light tanks, because I need a lot of light tanks right now with the way my tanks are, uh, the tank composition is. I'm going to go ahead and edit this uh, division here. I'm going to replace one of the uh, light tank brigades with a medium tank one. It's going to cost me just five. Not a big deal. I have more than 300 here. So we'll go ahead and make that change. And now... 
Of course, the one message went away. And I'm also not producing tactical bombers, which I'm aware of because I replaced the tactical bomber production with um, close air support. Uh, as that goes more along with my do doctrines. And if we look at production here, um, now I actually need the medium tanks. So it says I have a total need of 300. And as you can see here, rather than having 49 surplus, I now have negative 251 because that's how many we need after those 49s are issu 49 are issued. But we've managed to uh, deal with a sixth of the need of those medium tanks, which is better than none of the light tanks w that we were probably getting. Uh, if we were to look at, like, the uh, combat strength of some of my, uh, those tank divisions, you can see it's very low. It's because I just don't have the, the light tanks for those units. All right. So the attack continues to progress here. We almost won that defense, and then we're going to have another defense win here. This fight continues to progress. Ooh, what do we got going on here? So it looks like a combined force of Belgians and Americans are attacking. And there's five divisions in there. Well, you know, we could help them. I was discussing this. And that would add three divisions. The only problem is I don't want to leave this province completely open, although it does look like there's more Belgians coming in here. We'll just leave that off offensive to them. But it might be a good idea if we attacked over here, um, because then we could even odds. I'm really tempted to do it. I'm just worried about leaving a, a vacancy uh, in provinces. But you know what? We'll see what happens if I if I advance. We'll just see how we progress the fight. So there we go. We're winning. I can't use this this group to attack anywhere. Can we take advantage of any weaknesses over here? As a matter of fact, we have preparation going on over here. How prepared are they? We got 91%, 81%. So some uh, units are more prepared than others. Okay, so we've got 96%. All right, so we're getting there. And the commander, how does he feel about it? He thinks it's risky. All right. Even though it's how many divisions against how many divisions. Jeez. All right. Well, um, we'll, uh, we'll wait off until more preparation occurs. And we have more of an opportunity. But that's, what, four divisions against all these divisions? As a matter of fact, it looks like the AI uh, rerouted some of the divisions here, which I'm not a big fan of. Uh, they keep doing that. But uh, I'll let it go uh, because we may be doing this offensive soon, especially with some of these offensives possibly doing well. I'll just have to keep an eye on this to make sure we don't have too many divisions attacking us. Okay, over here... We're being attacked pretty heavily over here. Seven divisions against 15 right now. What I might do is take two divisions of the Swiss here, so... All right. It's so annoying sometimes to select how many units you want to. We'll just do it this way. Okay. We'll just send two divisions down there to help out. I think these... Um, Nine divisions can hold out pretty well. We've also got a defense here, but again, it's uh, seven divisions right now, and I think it will soon be eight, unless it is an attack. It could be an attack. It's kind of hard to tell. Maybe if I actually looked at it. No, okay, so it is a... Uh, it's attacked by the Germans, actually. Again, I'm, I'm confident we can hold out. They've got a river crossing... Pretty significant river crossing. Okay, let's come back over here. Let's just see if they're attacking anywhere. They are, but it's over here. This fight continues to go okay. We could take advantage of this attack. Right now, it's four divisions on eight. And what I could do is I could attack in. Like, for instance, these guys are all low strength. So we wait until this guy's left, and then we attack in. And then we, we can attack from three different directions. That might mess up their preparation bonuses, but I don't really care. We just wait until this guy leaves is the, the plan. Okay. Oh, I thought he had left. Come on. Get moving. How does the commander feel about it now? 
He says it's good. All right, well, you know what? We'll let him execute the plan. Let's see how this goes. I can, I can move troops around as I need. This is the first time I've ever really done a AI-controlled offensive. Oh, I'm attacking here as part of that offensive, but the line's over here. You know what? Um, let me do something here. Um, I don't want this part of the front. No. That is definitely not what I wanted to have happen. Alright, just give me a second. I might have just totally screwed that. Um. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can uh, avoid this. So they're going to attack over here. That's not what I want. Um. Just give me a second while I try and figure out how to do this. Yeah, when I do that, it does all three provinces. That's not what I want. All right, F it. And offensive line, I want these two provinces. Thank you. Okay, go ahead with your assault. Looks like they kept a preparation bonus. Okay. And let's see if they attack over here again. No, they didn't. All right, so I just had to alter the, the line, maybe? All right. This fight continues to go well. We've got maybe a defense here. This fight's going well. Is that is all that is in here? Just this one division? Because if so, why am I not attacking there? I think these divisions aren't doing anything. But I, because I'm defending, I can't do anything. Alright, give me a second. While I grab... Alright. There we go. These two Swiss divisions, put them over there. All right, well, uh, there's actually more divisions there than I thought. We'll let the we'll let the advance go. I believe there is Okay. Am I? I'm attacking here? It says France, but that's not right. That's the Dutch, right? Alright, whatever. Okay. And this is an attack. Okay. Maybe that was an attack before and I was just misreading it. Either way, we've got the offensive. It's going. All right. Okay. Grab these guys. They're not doing anything. Go over there. Anyone that's just sitting here not doing anything. Okay. Go into this fight. Here, I'll put these three mountain troops over here. Oh, I was going to do that. Never mind. Alright. 
We did grab Colm. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, but that's good. All right. Now what I'm going to do... is use strategic movement here. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And I want these guys to be moved down in here so that we can continue a push here. So let's have them queue up to move here. Now, I don't want them moving like that. So what I'd like to do, let's queue them move here. And okay, now they're not moving through a bunch of territory that will get attacked. And then we'll have them move here. Okay. So that's those tanks. And then we'll grab, I mean, the motorized troops. Then we'll grab the tanks. We'll do the same thing. So I want you to move here. Oh, no. Um, I want them to strategic move. So I gotta cancel that move. Strategic move. And then have them move here. Then have them move here. Okay. We're rerouting troops down to the south because I think we can make a push here. And I'd like to make a push on Munich. So I need those uh, troops, I think. And I think that will do it. The rest of the, the troops will keep behind as a, as a defense. As a matter of fact, anyone that is queued to move here. Let's just see. I'll just keep the tanks here. They were queued to move. They can stay there. All right. Oh, wow. I didn't see this. The British have attacked here. Um, Maybe that reroute is the wrong move because I might be able to push up here. All right. Um, Cancel that. Cancel that nonsense. Stay here. No, I didn't mean to can't select you. All right. I didn't see this British uh, move. So the British have must have navally landed or something because... Uh, I don't know how they captured all this. All right, so this is a defense right now. So we'll wait for it to clear, and then we'll tack into the Hague here. All right, well, this is interesting. Where to attack into with these troops? It looks like the right move... It's hard to say because we have all these troops over here in Essen that I'd like to capture. Maybe I push here do a two-prong attack across the river, and then I go into um, either uh, Dortmund or Essen from there. All right, so with that said, I just want two divisions here going across. And I want these guys here. And these guys here are going across. We're going to keep the infantry back so they can defend. And that's the plan for now. Okay, over here... I could attack in here. There's not a whole lot of organization here. Or I could attack in here hoping to cut these guys off. Yeah, let's do that. So, attack here. And I'll grab everybody but two divisions. So I'll keep back the one French division and a Swiss division. Everybody else, go in there. All right. So that's the plan. I guess we're going to be attacking up north. I didn't uh, anticipate this British uh, assault. Uh, initially, my plan was to attack down here and try and take Munich. But uh, I think we have the opportunity up here, so we might as well take it. All right. So let's go ahead. All right, so at the moment, we're attacking here. Now, this attack might not necessarily work. We do have a river crossing, and they are reinforcing. We're going to try it. Okay. This assault is going well, and we may be able to two-prong it as soon as this defense is over. All right. Um, do we start the assault on the, the Hague or not? I think we do. We might as well put everything we have into it. It might not go well. We'll have to see. It might encourage the British to assist. All right. Never mind. Just stay there. Okay.
All right, so these fight these fights over here are still ongoing. Looks like we're gonna take this, so <laughs> that's good to see. Um, are these guys leaving to try and reinforce? That's interesting. Because then that's leaving this wide open. Okay. I want to wait until these guys leave. You know what? Screw it. They don't have to leave. We'll attack them anyway. Okay. And then over here... We'll attack so this tank can't go anywhere, so... Attack. Might as well attack with everything you got. And... We will assist with a single Alpine unit. Alright, now the uh, assault in Italy has started. Okay. So this offensive... Could be going better. Oh, I did end up sending these troops. Is there nobody in here now? On my end? Oh, no, there is. They're just hidden. Alright, well, I'm not worried about that. Okay, so let's send these two infantry units in there to help. Okay. That fight is going well. And most of these fights are going well. As a matter of fact, I do have troops moving now. All right, good stuff. And what do we do with this unit now that's there? Right now, we can't move with these units because they're being attacked. I say we start a two-prong attack here into the city. Okay. All right, we have a Belgian attack here. This fight's almost over. I want to watch it. Because I want to probably redirect troops here. Ah, too late. They already they already jumped in there. All right. Um, how about you reroute over here? And I have a lot of beat up infantry units, so I'm probably going to have to wait here. But the tank divisions they can attack here. Oh, and these guys are not cute to do anything. Um, how about? You march in there. All right, good stuff. Okay, these fights are progressing. Um, I'll send a single division over here to help out. And now we have units here not doing anything. So why don't we? send these Alpine units over here. And then you guys go over there as well. Alright. Okay, so far so good. Okay, those are Belgian troops. And Belgian troops fighting there. These fights... Are not going as well. Oh, this is a this is a, an assault, huh? From the Belgians. Okay. Um. So that means we have these guys cut off, and we can't attack. I don't know if these guys count as being cut off because they do not have a port. So why don't we start an assault here with what troops we have? Because there's no reason to hold these guys back now. We have every means of attack there. And might as well send the tank division in. I'm going to keep the infantry there just as a defense. And over here... Um, I don't know if I want the river crossing necessarily here. But we can send units across here. 
And we'll send everything but... Say, get rid of that division. And that division. I'm happy with just those two divisions staying behind. And we'll go up here. All right. We've got progress up north. How is our recruitment going? So we do have motorized troops. They are pretty much ready, so we could drop them. Um, I don't think I want them popping out in Ile-de-France anymore, though. I think I want them prop popping out in uh, Lorraine here. Or maybe even Alsace. Okay. And I might as well do that with everything. Just have it be Alsace for now. And pop, pop. All right. Good stuff. All right, you don't have much organization, but you'll get it when you get there. So we'll send you over here for now. All right. This offensive continues. Wow, we have a lot of Swiss troops here that we might as well keep advancing with. So why don't you guys... Come over here. Okay. Alright, so this fight's not going particularly well, but, uh... Oh, we've got guys here not doing anything. Get in there. There we go. Alright. Alright. Now, the good thing to see here is these are mostly offensives going on right now. Now, I may be able to push things here, but I'm not going to push too hard, maybe. I don't know. It's hard to say. I mean, I could come in here and capture this territory. But I could use the cavalry to do that, but we're just going to hold off for now. Is this an assault? Belgian troops? We'll let them do their thing. They're winning anyway. Okay, we are winning here. Alright. And this is a defense, so they're attacking from the Hague over here. But we're winning. Okay. Continue to focus down here. All right, so these guys aren't doing anything. We need them to do something. So, tank division. Oh, they are kind of resting, though. So let them rest. You can come up there, though, and help. Do we have any divisions just sitting here? Yeah, you go up there. There we go. All right. So we're winning most of these fights. All right. So these guys are pretty um, beat up here. Go in there. Might as well send the motorized and mech and uh, tank units in there. And then we'll hold these guys back as defense. Although we could send the tanks in as well. Might as well. Okay. Alright, so we've got a lot of pushing going on right now. Alright, this fight is still starting not to go well. I could send cavalry units in there to help. Let's see if that helps. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So we've got an assault here by Belgian troops, probably. And we have cut them off, it looks like. So where do we push next? Um, well, we don't need troops here. I figure we go into the Hague. So let's come over here. And we'll attack with these three divisions this way and these four divisions that way. That should do the job. Especially as there'll be uh, 
low on uh, organization because of the attack that they're doing right now. Because they're trying to probably break out, I would imagine. Okay, with that said, we now have 13 divisions here, and we can use them however we want. I figure we assault down here. And with the infantry, um, we're going to have to start deselecting stuff. So, go ahead and deselect that. And that. And that. And that. We leave four divisions behind, and we'll attack in here with the other nine. And then over here, I'll send the one Alpine division in to help out. And we already have some Belgian troops pushing, so that's good. As a matter of fact, why don't I just go ahead and tell these guys, once they're there, to sweep in here. Okay. Let's go back and take a look at how things are going on in Italy. Alright, so this is at 95%. We'll go ahead and send this cavalry down as it has kind of gained back morale. And then send the tank unit. Okay. So some of these fights we're winning, but it's it's taking a lot of resources to try and fight it. What I can do here is have these guys go there. And then have these guys, because this fight's over, go here. And for your orders, delete, delete. Thank you very much. You guys did a fantastic job. As a matter of fact, you just go up there. You're going over there. All right. Back off here a little bit. All right. You know, I think that... One division will be fine. There's only one division over there. I think we push, we continue to push here as much as I can. So, um, let's go with these guys. Have them go here. I'm kind of leaving my, oh, well, those are Yugoslavian troops, so I don't really care. And one thing I should check is how many factories I have. Okay, I'm doing okay. In any case, I think this is a good point to put a cut in the video. So we are starting to make grounds in Italy, finally. And things are going pretty well across the board. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.